Good morning. So I wanted to go ahead and do another update in regards to the surrogacy, kind of let you guys know what's going on. So last update, you guys found out that um, our intended parents selected us. So we officially have been matched with a family and we are moving forward with the process. So basically, um, like I had said in the video, there's a couple of upcoming steps and I have begun the process of um, starting each of those steps. So what they wanted was for us to have a social worker come out to our house basically to um, take a look around, make sure, you know, the area we live in is safe, make sure, you know, the environment is conducive to the safety of a pregnant woman. And um, so we went ahead and got the referral for the social worker from our case manager. And uh, she was finally able to get back to me. We scheduled an appointment for next weekend. Um, so essentially they want um, to come visit the house and just check everything out. Um, in addition to that, I'm also simultaneously in the process of working on the details of my surrogacy contract. So um, I was sent the contract as of yesterday. Um, and basically I had a chance to read over it. Um, I've been assigned an attorney um, at my request for a recommendation. So the attorney's been assigned. I actually got a chance to talk to her this morning. We made an appointment for next Tuesday to be able to go over the details of the contract if there's anything I want to um, have an addendum for or um, if everything is fine moving forward to schedule a time for us to get together and all sign the contract. Um, so I've already read through it. I'm pretty happy with it. There might be one or two things that I want to tweak, but they're mostly like cosmetic things. There is nothing uh, major. Um, so at this point, um, we're moving right along actually. Um, so once the, uh, oh, also my case manager reached out to me and requested that I have a pap done um, because the fertility clinic wants me to go ahead and get that done if I could but I responded to her by saying you know I had a pap done actually um, at my six-week postpartum checkup after I had Lindea so they actually said that would suffice um, because I actually didn't have it during my pregnancy I had it after because I didn't want a lot of poking and prodding I was going um, with a more natural method and so I like didn't have a pap I didn't have um, you know dilation checks or anything like that um, so yeah, so I had it after she was born um, and everything was perfectly fine. So they said that was cool. So I'm actually having my midwife's office fax over my PAP results to them and that will suffice. So once my PAP results are sent over to them, um, I've also been assigned to a um, fertility specialist. And so now they're gonna start tracking my cycles, which I've actually been um, sending my cycle information to my um, surrogacy um, caseworker for about the last two months already and that was not really difficult because I do that anyway my mom taught my sister and I to track our cycles as soon as we got our period um, when we were preteen so like that's always been something I've done so if you are interested in surrogacy I suggest that you start tracking it just getting familiar with your body um, and I'll probably be doing a series later on because one thing that was really helpful to the women on my Instagram was just kind of having a better understanding of their cycle sometimes they would think they're late and I'm like well you're not really late um, it's most likely that you ovulated late and that's why your period showed up later you know things like that so um, I'll probably do you know some educational videos about you know a woman's cycle how that works you know um, trying to get pregnant if that's something you guys are interested in just let me know but in the meantime I was able to send them my um, cycle information and now the fertility clinic specialist wants to receive it directly. So um, my cycle is due to come, I believe like October 4th or something like that. So as soon as that happens, I will go ahead and send that information over to her and then they will start trying to plan for my mock session. So a mock session is essentially when they start putting me on the medication to see how my body reacts to it and then um, just to make sure that I'm not having any type of adverse effects. 
as long as that's fine, then I will be able to continue with my regular medication treatment uh, for six, about six to seven weeks before the embryo transfer. Um, that also gives them time to have my cycle link with that of the um, egg donor, because again, as I said, I'm a gestational surrogate, so I'm not biologically related to the baby. It'll be my intended parents, the husband, his sperm, and the um, egg donor of my intended parent mother's choice. So um, at this point, um, things are, like I said, moving pretty quickly. Um, it sounds like, you know, our contract will be um, finalized by probably the end of next week. Um, and then from there, I'll have to have uh, a medical screening done, an updated medical screening done by the fertility clinic. They just want to, again, make sure that I'm healthy enough at this point to carry a baby. Um, and it looks like my parents are kind of going back and forth as to whether or not they want to transfer one embryo or two. Um, so I guess we'll we'll see what happens, but if, as long as I'm healthy enough to do that, um, my specialist may go ahead and let me. And so that increases the possibility of me carrying twins. So hold on, let me, there we go. Um, but yeah, so I think that I covered everything. Um, <laughs> lots happening. I have to squeeze these videos in when I can, but I like to do it when it's fresh. Um, and when I'm alone and I can focus on getting, getting all the information down. So yeah, so that's where we are right now. I'm super excited. Um, my case manager just keeps telling me how grateful the parents are that they found someone finally. Um, and you know, they're really excited about moving forward and getting their contracts reviewed and all this good stuff. So, um, yeah, so uh, I think that's about it for now. Um, but I hope you guys have a good day. Stay prayed up and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the journey so far. If there's anything else additional you want to know, um, I'm more than happy to share. Take care.